The Iranian chess number 10 caught the attention of Tehran last week at an international competition for appearing without her veil. In doing so, Sarah Kadem arguably broke Iranian law. Female athletes are required to cover their heads when representing the country abroad. Since the tournament, she has received suspicious phone calls, some warning her against returning to her home country, others encouraging her to, promising to quote-unquote solve her problem. She pointed out in a recent Instagram post that she did not attend this event under the auspices of the Iranian government and responded to rumours on her move to Spain, where she arrived on Tuesday. There have been rumours on my immigration status which I have decided to clarify. I'm not a refugee of any country. The choice for us to move to Spain is a family decision, not a political one. Iran will always be home for us and we will return there when the time is right. Nearly four months after the death in custody of Mahsa Amini, arrested for allegedly violating the country's dress code, rejecting the mandatory headscarf has become a common act of protest against the regime. The actress Tarana Aladusti, for instance, was released today after nearly three weeks in prison for an expression of solidarity with protesters showing her hair uncovered. Authorities characterised her social media post as provocative material. Iranian women have continued to protest since September, the movement even spreading to other sections of society. But the government has redoubled its efforts to quash dissent, with at least 12 demonstrators executed in late 2022.